So crazy to see, it's the end of an era. The cage is finally coming down. So many good memories and just thousands of throws in there. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I'm back inside again today because it actually snowed out yesterday. So I quickly wanted to go over a feeling that I've been working on in shot put, and I've been feeling it really well in discus. And the cue's coming from Sam Elsner. I'll put a link to his video in the description below, but he's been studying the biomechanics of throwers, and he explained a position to me that I started to look for in other throwers, and it started to make a lot of sense, and that's what has led me to a couple of the breakthroughs and some feelings that I've been quite liking. So now that I've been feeling it a bit more in shot put and discus, I want to break it down, explain it to you guys, and I'll supply the video so you guys can watch that if you're interested below. All right, so the cue that Sam's talking about, he calls setting the trigger, and that's having your hips level at the back and getting a twist in your upper body while maintaining your hips nice and level facing the back. And this sets up some core tension that's gonna ultimately get you to the end of the throw with your hips ahead of it in shot put or discus. So this is a position that's really easy to see in Jurgen Scholl, so I'm gonna pull up a video of him. Pay attention to, in discus, his hips stay nice and level at the back. He winds up, and when the discus is at the far back of its orbit, he stops it there and immediately starts to go with his right side but maintains that core tension and that slings the discus to the middle and then he stays around his axis in the middle and launches it again. So that's the feeling that I was trying to find in shot put and I wasn't quite sure how to get it. So I started to think about having an arm hanging off my elbow and as I'm winding up in shot put, pretending that there's a discus in that arm, so that wraps me up, gets me in that position. All right, so I'm just sitting down and editing this video right now, and I want to use another example of Ryan Krauser doing the same thing as Jurgen Schultz. So if you notice, as I was just talking about having the extension of an arm hanging off of my elbow to get that wrap feeling, if you pay attention to Ryan, that's what it looks like he's doing to me, is using the rotational wrap in the beginning to set the shot put over his right hip, and then his first movement is to open his left side and start to pick up his right foot. He drops his knee down to the middle and he comes through with his right hip forward. And now he's still maintaining this wrap position with his hips level and his upper body wrapped backwards, like setting that trigger at the beginning of the throw. And I think a lot of this position in the middle comes from him setting it up properly out of the back. Setting that trigger has been a feeling that I've been liking. Helps me feel like I've got better separation in the middle. And on top of that, keeping the hips level like that really does allow you to get over that side. If they're here, you've got to shift all the way back and then try to get over it and you can be late. So by keeping them level and your weight in the center, you can just easily get over top of that right side, allowing you to be more efficient, waste less time, getting through positions that are unnecessary to be in in the first place. For example, if I'm winding up, I gotta come all the way over here, this foot's all the way down. So to get to a good position to get over it, I've gotta do all this extra movement from here all the way to here, when I could just be here and just get over it right away. It's all about efficiency, being efficient, and if you watch throwers that are throwing far, it looks easy a lot of the time because they're so efficient with their movements. Just wanted to explain that, and now you guys can see that as the video goes on. I'm gonna start off today with some med ball drills, getting warmed up and thinking about maintaining a center axis and having the ball work around me into the wall. I actually really like the way these are feeling just using this ball as a shot put. I feel the ball travel linear, loop around, and feel it travel linear again. do some wrist slams into the ground and then some throws into the mat to get everything nice and warmed up. I know I cover it every day but I think it's super important and maintaining a healthy wrist so you can throw more is just super important for throwing shot put. So get nice and warmed up.
All right, going on to stand thrust in the ring, just stay nice and centered, have the ball work around me, and see if I can feel direction and snap nice and straight down the middle of the sector. All right, I'm going to go into some walking South Africans. I want to feel direction to the middle of the circle, loop it around, stay on the middle axis, and keep the ball on orbit and push it nice and straight. I'm going to take my throw one step further and go on to facing the back, doing just a turn to get to my South African position, and then just a nice same tempo walking through the throw and trying to feel those positions with the ball on orbit. Now my thought out of the back for that first part of the pre-turn because that's been helping me a lot in my throws. I'm thinking about trying to get over my right and set up that tetherball pull and make sure that I'm getting that knee drop and the knee drop continues to help get my upper body in a more vertical position so going to that middle it can be more like a South African so good drop over my right knee but also make sure that I'm getting nice and balanced over top of it and being as vertical as possible. So one of the best things I was feeling in those drills was that I was nice and patient, getting nice and around this right side, and then I was letting my hip come through ahead. I think nothing but the orbit. Hopefully this is behind enough that I can see if I'm pulling off on either side. Just keep the ball in its orbit, that's it. something I think. Oh. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Overall, feeling some super good things. I just want to continue to find that feeling of wrapping up, setting that trigger, getting over my right side like that tetherball pull and feeling it nice and rotational. 
every day keeps getting better and better and I'm gonna continue to work on these things technically, but I'm happy where it's going. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.